purpose of a furnace or heating system is to safely and adequately heat up the air in our homes and then distribute it to all the rooms throughout the house. In this particular case, this is a propane um, furnace. Outside we've got a tank which holds the propane. The propane gets to the furnace through a gas line. Gas comes through this pipe up to the furnace. A couple things I want to touch on here. Whether it's natural gas or propane gas, you're going to have a shutoff valve, which is this blue valve here. You're also going to have what we call a dirt leg, and this collects any sediment. The gas has impurities in it, and this collects that sediment so it doesn't get into the system here and uh, maybe clog it up or cause damage to the, to the valves. Gas passes through the pipe, through the valve, to the burners. In this case, we've got five burners. You could have three, you could have two, you could have four. It, it all depends on how big your furnace is, how much heat it, it's trying to produce. The burners ignite through either electronic ignition, which is what we have here, electrically, an igniter, or through a pilot light, which is a, 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 another gas line of sorts that you light with a match and it stays lit um, continuously. And then when the furnace calls for heat, that flame ignites the gas, which ignites the burners. So the burners are going, they're heating up the heat exchanger, which is a, a big piece of metal inside this housing here. We can't see it. But that metal gets hot, and when it gets to a certain temperature, then our blower kicks in, and the blower pulls cold air from all the rooms, passes it across that hot heat exchanger, and forces it back out to all the rooms through ductwork, and it comes up through the registers, um, and that's what gives us our nice, comfortable, cozy heat in the house. That cold air comes back through what we call a return, a cold air return, which is duct work, travel corridors, where it comes back to the furnace. And you should always find, just before that cold air return gets to the furnace, you should find a filter of some type. What the filter does is it collects any dirt, dust that, that is accumulated, produced in the house, um, and keeps it from getting back through the furnace and just recirculating throughout the house. Um, so we're not constantly breathing in, you know, the, the dirty, dusty air. Here's some things that you might find wrong with the furnace. We'll, we'll start right back over where we started before. Gas line. You may smell gas. If you ever smell gas, possibly one of these fittings here, connections, are leaking. And uh, what you're going to want to do is call your service provider Tell them you smell gas. They will instruct you on what to do at that point. They may tell you just leave things the way it is, get out of the house. They may tell you to shut off the gas valve or shut it off at the outside of the house. Um, but uh, that's what you want to do. If you smell gas, don't second guess it. Get on the phone, call a service person your, or your gas provider and uh, follow the instructions they give you. The other thing you might experience is an inconsistency in flame here. Ideally, all these flames, burners, should be the same size, and the fire, the flame, should be a nice consistent blue color with very little orange or yellow in it. Um, if you're seeing any great amounts of orange or yellow, again, you're probably going to want to call a service person. Something's not working properly there. If you have, this has five burners, Let's say four of them are going really nice and, and, and uh, um, you got a, a lot of flame there and one of them has just a little bit of flame. Again, that would be something you would want to call somebody to come in and look at and correct because that's not burning efficiently. A nice, efficiently burning flame will be blue. It's going to produce very little carbon monoxide and it's not going to use as much gas. So it's going to save you money. Okay, so, so that's something you want to look for there. Another thing you want to be aware of is, are you getting heat at the same rate throughout all the rooms? If not, you could have a situation where one of your ducts, where you can't see it, you know, under the floor, in the attic, um, has, has come loose. And so the, heat, the heated air is not making it all the way to the room. Okay? 
Um, so that's another thing to be aware of there. Um, or the blower, possibly. You know, if you're, if you're not getting heat to several rooms, perhaps your blower isn't working properly because that takes that cold air, circulates it over our hot heat exchanger, and gets us hot air to the rooms again. So, again, the blower would be a possibility there. Now, something I haven't talked about yet, but I want to talk about now, is after that burner um, ignites and that's burning, when that gas is being burnt, you've got um, exhaust coming off of that, okay, carbon monoxide. We have to get that out of the house in a safe and efficient manner. The way we do that is through our flue pipe. Um, this one goes just to the exterior of the house because um, this is a high efficiency furnace. You may have one that's got a metal flue pipe that goes into a chimney. Either way, you want to make sure that's venting those gases to the outside of the house because, again, it's carbon monoxide. On some things, like this furnace, which is high efficiency, um, you're going to get a lot of condensation, moisture, in that flue pipe, and that's what this hose is here. It collects that condensation and directs it to somewhere um, where it's not going to do any damage. Um, and it's, and it's going to get it, again, out of the house. Okay? Um, something to look for here, some problems, is it's water. You're going to look for leaks. You know, is it leaking at the connection here? Is it leaking at the flue pipe right here? Are there any leaks, signs of water, inside the furnace where this um, condensation tube is, is directed through the furnace? Those would be things that you would want to have checked as well. If you turn the thermostat on and you just you don't get any heat at all, okay, furnace doesn't seem to be turning on, operating, um, here's some things that you would want to check. First, check the thermostat. Um, check at what the room temperature is and, wh and what you want the room temperature to be. See if those seem to be relating properly, okay? If not, perhaps the problem's right there with the thermostat. If that seems to be working properly, then you want to come over to the furnace and either on the wall near the furnace or sometimes they're right on the side of the furnace you're going to have a service switch, okay? And it's just like a regular light switch. That's what it looks like. You want to check that. Make sure somebody didn't accidentally bump that, turn that off, because that um, does not allow any electricity to get to the furnace, so the furnace isn't going to operate. You can also check a lot of the switches. They'll have a, a, a small screw-in fuse there as well. Check that fuse, see if it's blown and needs replacement. If that seems to be in... in good shape and, and proper, then go to your fuse panel or breaker panel, whatever you might have, check the circuit, the, the fuse or breaker for the furnace itself. See if maybe if it's a breaker, if that's tripped or a fuse, is it blown? Um, do those things need to be, if it's a breaker, it needs to be reset or the fuse needs to be replaced? Replace that, but also get to call a service person because you want to know what caused that breaker to trip or that fuse to blow. It could be an indication of a more serious problem or a chronic problem that, that you're going to have to deal with again. You want to check this monthly. Everybody has different living habits. Some people accumulate more dust than others and more frequently. Um, good rule of thumb is check your filter once a month. Change it as needed. And what I say is if you take that out, hold it up to the light, and you can't see light through it, you need to change that filter. At the very minimum, no matter what, change that filter once every three months during your furnace operation. In some areas, your furnace might run four to five months of the year. Up in our area, it runs about three to four months of the year. You know, periodically, you need to check these things. Um, good idea of prevention is, you know, is uh, easier than, than cure in a lot of cases. So. If you can get in the habit of routinely inspecting these things for yourself instead of waiting for a problem to develop, um, usually you're going to save yourself some time and money.